and Poland's Jeter Hellman is one year older than Dagestan's Mr. Fire. He is also one inch taller and outreaches Mr. Fire by a slim half inch. With that, we send it back inside to our Octagon announcer, Andy Friedlander. Ladies and gentlemen, we come now to three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins and one loss. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sochi, Russia, Magomed Mustafaev. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighed in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Rumia, Poland, Piotr Plebow Halman. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Kevin Sataki. So Kevin Sataki is responsible for the rules and safety throughout this bout. Three fives in the lightweight division. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Fight! So tonight's fight clock is sponsored by Olymp. We have Piotr Hallman in the white. Mr. Five in the blue, white and red. Hallman with the clinch early. But he's forced up against the fence by Mustafaev. Looking for an inside trip there. Good underhook from uh, for Holman that's causing him some problems though. Stopping him level chain. Nice that's elbow nice. there. Yeah. On the exit there from Mustafaev. Everything he's thrown so far seems to have had a lot of power in it. Started off with a front kick. Oh, a big powerful leg kick. Ends up on the floor. Oh, a triangle set up perhaps. So pass. Yeah, Holman looking yeah, to pass, pass here. Good work. Wow, Let's great stand-up. Yeah, very, very, very strong. No nonsense. Well, we know that Hellman can take a few as he demonstrated against Jason Tebow. A lot of big shots landed and eaten in that contest. Split decision victory to Tebow on that one. He is a high-level guy and already some damage to Piotr Hellman. Hellman looking for a Muay Thai clinch to defend that takedown. Does a good job. Mr. Fayev really pressing for that now. A lot of Sambo gyms in Russia and Dagestan are adding mixed martial arts programs, which is why we're seeing such a surge of fighters from that region having a lot of success at the very highest level. Mr. Fayev has been featured on some scouting reports for a while now. Oh, big punches on the inside from Mr. Fayev. Holman looking to clinch, then Mustafaya pushes forward for another takedown. He told me earlier this week that he wants to win by TKO or KO. Holman reversing the position. Got Mustafaya up against the fence now. Short knee on the inside. Mustafaya has fought most of his career in a box. Oh, nice trip. A good uppercut there by Mr. Fay. He really plants his feet yeah, and he is. talks those punches through. He is really looking to get this fight finished. You don't get paid by the minute. Oh, spinning back kick. Beautifully timed, but Hellman fortunately just caught it with that wow. knee landed. Hellman has taken some serious shots in the opening stanza. Throwing a kick of his own, but they looked half the speed of what Mr. Fayev is throwing his way. Oh, another body kick. Hellman pushes forward, knocks him off balance. And now Hellman in the guard of Mustafaev. Mustafaev with four submission wins to his credit. He likes an armbar, so look for a, a nice open, aggressive guard. If he doesn't, of course, look to stand up. Interesting looking elbow there from Hellman. Got to be careful of those 12 to 6. The fire looking, looking to control the posture of Hellman here up against the fence. He has a, a mixture of submissions on his record, does Mr. Fire. So he has he has got a very well rounded ground game. You know, heel hooks, arm bars, rear nicky chokes, triangles. He has wins with all of them. So he is dangerous from any position on the floor. And if Hellman. Oh, there it is. There's an arm bar attempt. 
Good defence by Holman, just kept his elbow out of that one. Well, this is where Pieter Holman likes to have the fight take place. He's a, a very, very strong and very controlling in that top position. I've seen Holman for many years now, and he's always, been, he's always excelled in these kind of ranges. He did a good job of uh, stifling either Eve Edwards in their fight, closing that distance and eventually getting that, uh, that finish. Yeah, 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 it was a, a really good uh, performance over a, you know, a veteran of the sport in Eve Edwards, one of my all-time favourites. So you, you know he's, uh, you know he's got the ability, and, and uh, you know a split decision to Gleason Tibar, one of the biggest, strongest guys in the division, and he wasn't really muscled around in that fight. So, you know, in, in order to, to get the control in this position. And keep raining down punches. This is probably a good a good uh, game plan against yeah. Mustafa, who is clearly the more explosive and you know uh, uh, heavy hitting fighter out of the two. And he's certainly going to he's certainly trying to slow down his opponents through landing some big shots. He took a few big Hellman took a few big shots himself there early on, but he did so as well against Francisco Trinaldo, but came back and got a submission win. Last 10 seconds. <laughs> so let's have a look at some of the action from round one. There's a very nice elbow thrown early doors for Mr. Fayev. So this was uh, pretty much the first two and a half minutes of the fight. Um, uh, you know, Mr. Fayev trying to break the clinch and land some clean shots and then as Holman was pushing forward, really trying to swing and land something clean on his chin, but towards the end of the round, Holman managed to get the fight to the floor and, uh, and was able to hold that top position and land a few shots. <laughs> So not long now until one of the most talked about fights in recent UFC history gets underway. Long-time champion and pound-for-pound -pound best, Jose Aldo, will face a title challenge from Ireland's notorious Conor McGregor. It's been building a while now with many words and stares exchanged. Cannot wait for that one from Las Vegas. Mustafa have looked to time a knee then as Hellman stepped in. Hellman's been trying to work on being a bit more snappy with his strikes and adopting a more sort of Dutch kickboxing style. But it's Mustafa have that's really shining with his striking to this point. The, the energy expenditure is... Oh, that was a really clean... Was that the spinning elbow that landed there, John? Uh, I think it's spinning back fist. Beautifully timed. Lovely, so has two spinning techniques that have landed very nicely. And Hellman is just eating it up. Closes the distance again, looking for a body lock. Mustafa have got a Kimura lock on the, on the right arm of Hellman. Some good knees to the legs there to try and deaden the, uh, the base of the, uh, of, uh, of the Dagestani fighter. Mustafa has got a Kimura grip yeah, he's on the right him. arm of Piotr Hellman. He's locked into that, but uh, awkward to get up against the fence there. He's going to have to try and scoot that, uh, that left leg through, unless he's looking to use it as a sweep. Yeah. Uh, he's let go of it now. Possibly looking to try and get back to his feet, but how many suffocating in this position. Oh, a nice reversal. Yeah, nice use of the underhook, got his hip back, square on. Be a little bit careful about his leaving his head in there. Oh, great. Oh, a nice short elbow. Very nice use of elbow techniques from Mr. Fayev. Oh, and again, beautiful. Good work on the inside there. Yeah. Under and over from Mr. Fayev. Doing some damage to Hellman. Yeah, that left eye not looking great now for the Polish fighter. Not quite relevant to these exchanges, Dan, but there's a, a clip of Mr. Fayev earning a, a knockout via slam. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Which was absolutely fantastic, and, and it kind of demonstrates the, the pure strength that he has. 
it was kind of one-handed rampage jackson arona style it was uh, something quite quite beautiful to watch Alman looking again drop down for a single leg for a second but uh uh, uh, Mustafaev worked that overhook, lift, managed to lift him back up to his feet. Good takedown defense so far, but this is smothering. This is really going to take some of the pop out of his punches. Referee taking a look at Hellman's eyes. Mustafaev wades in with two big right hands. It's given him some of that confidence. He can see blood now, so he's uh, trying to push forward a little bit. Hellman looks a little bit shaken, but he's still still fighting, still trying to get that clinch and tie his opponents up. Mustafaev using the, the, uh, the right knee as a, as a shield here to try and keep some distance between him and his opponent. Hellman is super tough. Looking to slow stop, the pace stop. of this contest. Stay here. Come in. Doctor. Looks like the doctor is going to be called in to examine right Hellman. Mr. Five is taking a moment to actually have a seat against the fence. Not looking take good. A, take a look at oh, the crowd. Yeah. And the referee has taken the, the advice of the doctor and this fight has been called. I'm going to take a look back at exactly how that cut happened to Piotr Hellman. So again, in a clinch position here, I think it was the short shots that did the damage. Yeah, it's a really nasty cut indeed. Yeah, it's, it's just in one of those positions where it's, it's not going to help the fighter at all. It's going to be constantly running into the eye and obstructing his vision. And the last thing we want is a, uh, you know, a, 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 a fighter with his sight impaired in there, trying to defend punches. So perhaps not exactly the way that Mr. Fayev wanted to get victory here inside the octagon. That said, however, he extends his fight win streak to 11 and is now victorious inside the octagon. So Hellman actually with uh, what looks like two cuts to that left eye. I've seen referees let it go a little bit further, but it's in a pretty bad spot. So let's send it back inside to Andy Freelander to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, on the doctor's advice, referee Kevin Sataki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes and 24 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Magomed Mustafaev. Okay, so I'm here with your winner. Okay, Magomed Mustafaev, UFC debut. You never, you've still not been the distance. How are you feeling right now? Magomed, it's a good debut for UFC. Tell me what you're feeling right now. If you're honest, I'm very happy to see you in such a good match. Thank you very much for your support, Magomed Mustafaev. This is the best tournament I've ever been in. I'm very happy to see you in the UFC. I'm so happy to get in the UFC, and I'm so happy that I get so strong opponents like Piotr Kolman. This is the best organization in the world. I'm happy. So tell me about the fight. Obviously it was difficult to keep space from him. He kept trying to clinch you and close the distance, but you did a good job of breaking away and landing clinches from the strikes. Was this how you expected the fight to go? Теперь давай немного поговорим о бою. Это был очень тяжелый бой, постоянное давление, постоянная работа в клинче. Скажи, ты ожидал это от него? Да, я ожидал от него это, я знал. Я смотрел много его бои. Он постоянно идет вперед. Я знал, просто не думал, что у него столько физики. На самом деле бой очень мощный. Я рад, что я смог его финишировать так. Yes, I expected. So I, I was expected this from Piotr. I know he is very strong guy. He is also moving forward, and I was ready. But I didn't expect so much power in his in his wrestling. But I came here to win, and we get this win. Well, it was an excellent win. So UFC debuts in the bag. What do you want to achieve now? You're in the best organization in the world. Чего бы ты это был твой дебют в UFC? Скажи, чего бы ты хотел достичь в этой организации? Я хочу как можно дольше продержаться в этой промоушене. Я знаю, в моем весе очень много хороших спортсменов, особенно в Сагестане, в Чечне, в Каза. Что я могу сказать? Хочу как можно дольше, хочу выиграть, остаться в этом промоушене. Окей, okay, so 
I'm very happy to be in UFC. I know there are a lot of strong guys in this promotion, and especially from my hometown, from Dagestan, from Chechen Republic, and I want to keep in this organization as long as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Magomed Mustafayev! It was a tough first assignment for Magomed Mustafayev, but he did look very good.